going on, guys? EXO coming at you with another set of Q and A, and it is F Solus eighty six, and Stage One SPL along with many others who want to know how do you add a second battery, um, or a separate battery bank in one car audio installation. Uh, well, there's about three different ways to do this, and uh, they range from price. But the first way, and the least expensive way, um, if you don't consider you buying an upgraded alternator a part of your investment is paralleling. Um, it does cause much more stress on the alternator, so if you had um, a multiple setup or high output setup, it would be optimal for that. Um, and that's basically you run in positive to positive, negative to negative, without any equipment in between. Just two matching batteries relatively, have it be a starter, and then a deep cycle on the other side or in the back. And when you're doing that, you know, some people run a ground wire all the way to your other battery. Some people just do the big three and then ground it from the chassis in the back. And um, it's really up to you. Um, the more touch, the better. And the that's, again, that's the first option, parallel, which I just went through, which you have to have your high output alternator. The second option gets into what's called relays or separators. Um, these come into play with about five different connections, which vary from constant... Um, ignition, power wire from your source battery, and alternator, I believe, and then ground. So there's like five connections on the relay, I believe, um, which basically, um, when you turn your engine off, it's telling your primary battery, which starts your engine, it's saying, hey, no more. You don't have to say anything anymore. It's basically saying turn off when you turn your engine on. So that's why you click it to like the third or the second position, and that's why it knows to use the second battery bank when your car is on. And when you switch it off, saying you turn your accessories on, it knows to use that and not your starter battery. So you're like, eh, 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 when you try to start your car. So you're set, like, on both ends. So it's good. And that, again, is the relay. They vary in price from 20 to $60. Stinger makes one. Uh, Napa carries one. They have generic OEM, all the way to name brand stuff from Tsunami. Um, and again, those um, are, I said, 20 to 60 bucks. And here we go with the third option and the most expensive, usually, um, depending on what type of um, relay you would get. And this is called isolators. Isolators are bigger, bulkier, and they're rated by amps. Um, it's hard to find a place to put them, especially underneath your hood, because they range in size from all the way from an inch to almost three inches, four inches thick. And they have like little fissures along the sides of them. And they're very awkward looking. And um, they vary from, you know, 50, 100, 150, 200 up plus amps. And the reason why I don't so much like all, um, isolators is also because of the size, but because of the price. They range from, they're too expensive. I mean, you can get a 150 amp isolator for like, hundred bucks I think in a 250 what they call altos for like 200 and something bucks screw that I'd rather use something that's not even rated that lets like an unlimited amount of current through which is you know more dangerous but you can just fuse it or use a use your own circuit breaker I mean I'd much rather save a little bit more money and have a safe wiring instead of spend all that money and then have it limited and then maybe burn something up from having that margin of low power you know what I'm saying know what I'm saying? So I'd recommend going isolators, excuse me, Woo! I'd recommend going relay or separator, which is basically the same thing. So those are the three. There's paralleling on high output setups, which is not good for your engine when it's off, which won't separate it at all. You'll have dying batteries all the time. But if you only listen to your system when your car is running, that might be an option for you. The second option is relay, good for everyone, not too bad to hook up. Again, you'll need three normal size and then three remote cables about 10 gauge and then for the isolator you're going to need all pretty much normal battery size cables except for that one turn on lead I believe which is your middle switch for your I mean excuse me the second position of your key I believe so those are the three for adding a second battery and adding two battery banks